saying let's go soul winning you know what I'm doing You've done it too these years. Let's go soul winning. Let's go soul winning. Let's go soul winning. Let's go soul winning. We built the greatest churches on the face of this earth. No generation has ever seen the mighty, great, soul winning churches were built in this land. This the Bible says right here, this is the Apostle John. He says, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. Who's that? Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. That believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. What did the Bible just tell you that you can know? Yes, you that you have eternal, eternal life. life. So you don't have to wonder. Right. The Bible says, I wrote these things so that you can know. So you would, the Bible says no one is right. No one is perfect and does everything right. right? And the reason why, it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Right? You know what a sin is? We all, we all sin. At least you know that, right? <laughs> so a sin is just transgressing or breaking the law, right? The, you heard the Ten Commandments before? Like, thou shalt not steal, you have stolen something? Yeah, we've all stolen something, right? Or thou shalt not bear false witness, which means tell a lie. We've all lied too, yeah? So we've done more than that, right? But according to the Bible, all have sinned. So there's not a just man upon the earth. That, sin, that doeth good and sinneth not, the Bible says. So no one at the end of their life, Isaiah, is going to stand before God and say, God, judge me because I have never sinned. Right? They, everyone sin, right? And what we deserve for our sin, the Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death. Right? So we die one day and it's just from a lifestyle of sin. The sin is what causes this body to decay, which causes this world to have... Uh, 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 a curse upon it but basically we all sin and we all die if our body dies our body's put into a tomb the Bible says if the soul goes to the lake of fire that's called the second death it's like dying twice basically. in the book of Revelation it talks about the second death it says this it says in uh, chapter 20 it says and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death, right? So the lake of fire is the second death, right? This is in the future. And it says, And for whosoever, or, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So Isaiah, there's a, a time when everyone's going to be judged. And if you're not in the book of life, you're cast into the lake of fire. Well, we go door to door to show you how, how to get in that book of life, okay? Now, here's, here's the thing. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and watch and all liars we have all lied right and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death God is calling. Why is Jesus calling us? Because He paid for our sins. And He's the only one that can balance the records. He's the only one that, when we owe a debt of sin, He has paid the price of sin. We can never pay the price of sin except by going to hell forever. So Jesus paid the price. He says, if you'll trust me, I'll, I'll take my payment, which I didn't owe any, for any sins, and I'll apply my payment to your sins. I paid an infinite penalty, which means I can pay for anybody's sins who comes to me. So if you come and listen to my calling in your heart, I will balance your books for you. But you've got to heed my call. It says right here, it says, But God commended the through His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So Jesus came and died for the sins of the whole world, right? Now the Bible says that Jesus Christ is God. We believe he's the God. He's the Son of God, but He is the one true God as a man, right? So He was born on this earth to the Virgin Mary, and He lived a perfect sinless life. Do you think Jesus ever committed any sins? Yeah, he was perfect, right? Let me show you what the Bible says that real quick. Because what He did was... He came here to fulfill the whole law. He came here to do what he and you couldn't do. 